Hey guys, Zach with Joker's Trains, and yeah, it's been a while, I know, like two years. Yeah, it's a long time. So what happened was, man, I moved, and I didn't have a place to run trains. Um, I still have all my trains, well, well, most of them anyways, and I've been working on setting up a small layout here at the house. It's uh, it's in one of the extra rooms. It's just a small around the room layout, nothing spectacular or crazy. Um, it's just a place to... For me to be able to run trains and maybe maybe work on a little bit of scenery techniques, so I can maybe work towards um, having a big layout area one day. Um, that's that's what I want. So that's what I'm gonna shoot for. But in the meantime, it'll allow me to make uh, YouTube videos and run trains. And uh, oh yeah, buy more, buy more trains. Th that is always important. Buy more trains. So. We're going to go over this uh, brand new Lionel 2021 catalog. It just came out today, January 22nd. I've skimmed through it a little bit. Haven't looked at it in depth. And there's a couple things in here I might be ordering. I'll let you know when we get to it. And at the end of the video, I'll let you know what I currently have on order that I'm waiting on patiently. Not so patiently. So let's just jump into this catalog. We'll skip all the... Uh, all the fluff pages and we'll just we'll just jump right to the engines because who cares about the table of contents let's just go to the trains all right so what we have brand or first out of the gate the brand new version of the vision 21010 obviously this was the first vision engine made and a lot of you guys are going to be stoked right because you missed it the first time and every time you find one on ebay now it's like outrageous money um you got two fantasy schemes here two legit prototypical schemes from Santa Fe. Um, I'll be honest with you, I'm not ordering one of these. I love Vision Line engines. And has nothing to do with the price tag on this engine. Because that's, I think it's still technically cheaper than the big boy. Or maybe it's the same price as the big boy. Whatever it is. It's close to what the big boy was. I have the big boy, so that doesn't bother me. These, just, these engines aren't my thing. Like, they're cool. I like to look at them on other people's layouts. I don't like them enough to pay that kind of money for one, so I'm just going to skip. And it's unfortunate that I wasn't buying trains last year because I definitely would have jumped on the on the daylight. That that would have happened. So if I was to buy these, the two that I like the most are the Santa Fe 3009 with the uh, black wheels and darkened rods. And then the uh, 3005, the black bonnet. I think those are cool. I, could, I would take that black bonnet with no yellow line down the side of it. There's no need for that line. We can get rid of that line. But, uh... Those are the two that I do like if I was to order one, but I'm I'm just not ordering one. All right, so I have seen the uh, the pictures on the internet, the the hints, if you will, and uh, some of the other videos on YouTube. Uh, these are the Pacifics, and when I first saw these, I'm like, oh, this is happening. I'm buying a Pacific. I don't have a Pacific in my collection, and everybody that watches my channel knows I love Union Pacific. B and O, it's pretty easy to tell. Um, so naturally, I was I first saw the B and O or this saw the Union Pacific with the the gray Union Pacific with the uh, the Vanderbilt tender, and I I just really like Vanderbilt tenders. But then I started looking more at the uh, Southern Pacific, and uh, I, I like that better than the than the gray UP. I'm just not real big on the gray UP engines. Um, it's not really my thing. But that 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 black Southern Pacific, that that's going to be a beautiful engine, and that great Northern. It would be hard for me to order anything Great Northern just because I don't really know anything about them. But that, that green on that Great Northern is probably going to look fantastic when that model ships. But uh, we'll just move to the next page. You got two more Pacifics. Got MKT and uh, GMNO. Uh, like I said, it's hard for me to... to it's hard to beat that, uh, that uh, Southern Pacific. Pacific. Southern Pacific. Pacific. What? Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So uh, let's move to the next page. We got some... Uh, uh, Passenger cars, so you got the Texas Specials, 18-inch cars. I know a lot of guys are going to be pretty happy about the 18-inch cars instead of the uh, outrageous 21-inch cars. So there you go, guys. You want your 18-inch cars. I hope you want a Texas Special because that's what you got. So let's uh, let's keep it moving here. Trying to take up too much of your time. Camelbacks. I've been waiting and waiting for Lionel to do a legacy Camelback. And yet here they are, and they somehow missed the B&O part. They got the Camelback, they just left off the B&O. So, what you got? You got Central, New Jersey, uh, Delaware and Hudson. You got a Halloween Halloween one. Uh, 
the Central New Jersey Blue Comet, which I think is going to look fantastic when that model ships. Um, then you got the, what is that, New York, New York, Ontario, and Wyoming, the Redding, Strasburg, and Long Island. I'm going to skip on those. I think those are at a great price point, especially for a legacy steam engine. Granted, they are on the smaller side. They're, what, 17 and a half inches. But uh, the, the price on, for being a legacy steam engine, I don't care how many inches long it is. That, that's fantastic. Um, maybe some of the other steam engines will come down. Nah, no, they won't. I'm kidding. So uh, you got the Mohawks here. I've always liked Mohawks. I'm by no means a New York Central fan. I'm pretty sure they're the only railroad that had Mohawks. I'm sure one of you guys are going to correct me. Um, but regardless, I, I really like the Mohawks. I, I think they're great looking engines. And I was, I was kind of up in air on them. I've always wanted one and I've always skipped every other time they've ever made one. And then they come out with this, this ridiculous New York Central pacemaker that I absolutely love. I think that engine is fantastic. And a lot of that's driven off of seeing the Conrail T1 that I guess came out last year. I've seen it on a couple guys' channels. Uh, that contrast of that blue was just, it just pops now granted i know the layouts that i saw them on had great lighting <clears throat> that's okay i don't care I, that engine's gorgeous so i'm hoping that this red pacemaker is going to have that same kind of contrast and pop to it because that would be man that, i'm telling you I, I just think that thing's awesome and i'm not really so much into the fantasy paint scheme so much but i mean let's be honest everybody likes to say it's not prototypical well there's not many of us that have prototypical layouts so who cares, man? That thing is cool. I don't care what you say. That red, that pacemaker is awesome. So if I order anything out of this catalog, it will be the New York Central Mohawk pacemaker with the pacemaker expansion set with the one Vision Line car. I wish I had an option to get rid of the Vision or the, the Vision box car because there's no need. I don't care about you know brake squeals. I have Vision box cars and I usually turn the sounds off, so I don't need that. So they could have gave me a you know they could put another regular box car and drop some money off of that for me, but that won't happen so if i do order the pacemaker engine i will order the pacemaker expansion freight set um that man that engine's awesome you guys gonna tell me that engine's not awesome don't don't even try that engine's awesome um so well line i'll cut a short on steam engines this year which is i get it they're expensive and take probably a lot of money to make but so let's just uh let's keep it moving on to diesels um i d i didn't read because i skip all the nonsense at the beginning um but these have Line out voice control. I don't technically know all the ins and outs of it. I kind of have an idea of how it works through the app or whatever. Um, I probably won't use it, but it's cool. No big deal. Some people like it. Some people won't. If you don't like it, don't use it. If you like it, use it. It's pretty simple. <clears throat> no need to carry on about it. So we got these SD70, as I call them, SD70 Aces, but other people like to call them ACEs. Whatever you want to call them, they're SD70s. Um, <clears throat> so I think what you have here is a bunch of fantasy paint schemes because I'm I don't I don't know if they actually painted all these colors. Um, I live not far from the Atlantic coastline in Florida. I've never actually seen the Atlantic coastline, but I do like that purple and silver. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I like the Kansas City Southern paint scheme. I used to have a Kansas City Southern uh, SD70 Ace, and I sold it like a, like like a stupid person. Um, then you got the uh, Santa Fe War Bonnet. I probably wouldn't buy that because I already have a Warbonnet AC6000 and I'm trying to collect engines from the end of steam early diesel so there's no need to add more modern diesels to my collection but except this one the B&O SD70 I would love to have I would love to have both of them right but I'm not going to buy either one of them um because some other things but if I ever have a chance down the road to pick up a B&O SD70 so if you guys out there have a bunch of money and just want to buy stuff just Buy some extras. I'll come get them for me in a couple years. Um, the Monon, not really into that. The Great Northern, I do like that paint scheme. Uh, this Canadian Pacific, I think that's going to be a really cool looking engine when it comes out. But the best one on this page is the Boston and Maine. Um, I know nothing about the Boston and Maine, so I'm going to call this color maroon. Sounds good. But I like how the how they got their uh, their paint scheme here. It's like this little line that comes down, then it goes into white. Oh man, that is that is just fantastic. I, I hope somebody buys that and puts it on YouTube so I can see it because I think that's going to be beautiful when those ship, if they, as long as they get their right colors. But if they look like that picture, Lionel, you nailed it. If you miss it, well, okay. 
You got some PA sets here. I'm not really into the PA sets. I think it's just because I don't like PAs. <clears throat> I think is my problem with them. I don't have a set. I probably will never own a set. Um, uh, but I, I like the MKT paint scheme. I just think it, this engine makes that paint scheme look horrible. So the cotton belt paint scheme is kind of cool. But uh, so the Delaware and Hudson paint scheme. I don't care what you put those colors on. You you could paint a loaf of bread. That color is going to look good. So, I would be into this, right? I would be super into this, um, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not ordering any of this on this page, actually. Um, so, I'm a bitch a little bit. Just a, a little one. Just a little one. Not quite a full rant. Just a little one. So, the the engine here, you got both powered. Both A units are powered. So, I'm assuming they got four motors, two each. They're retailing for $9.99. Yeah, I know. When you, when you pay your pre-order, it's less. I get it. But then you got your... Your your four car passenger set, twenty one inch passenger cars. They're seven forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I know the pre order that's cheaper too, but you're at a thousand and seven fifty. So I need I don't understand why the engines are a thousand and the four cars that have no motors in them are seven fifty. I, I I don't I have a problem with that. Lionel, listen to me, man. This is what I need from you guys. I need for you guys to make me a little bit bigger price gap. And that does not mean raise the price of the engines, Lionel. I need you to lower the price of the passenger cars. Because this is where I think we're really going to miss MTH. You know, MTH had the five car passenger set instead of four with a lower price tag. So if we could, uh, Lionel, if you guys, if, just, just help us out a little bit, man. I would be super into that set. Because I, I just love the paint scheme of the Delaware and Hudson. But you guys are killing me with these, with these uh, passenger cars. Just just killing me, guys. Uh, you got the Erie Lackawanna PAs. Not not super big into Lackawanna, and you got the GMO. I like this paint scheme. I think it's going to be a pretty cool looking set if you get the if you get all the cars. I, th I think it's going to look really cool, but uh, just not my thing. I'm going to pass on the PAs. So we get to the GP30s. <clears throat> I know a lot of guys out there like these GP30s. I actually don't have a GP30, um, and I, I like the Redding and Northern. I like this paint scheme. I've been seeing a lot of these engines on people's YouTube channels, and I think I, that's a really good looking paint scheme going down the tracks. I, I really like it a lot. Um, but yeah, it's got B&O. So if I was to buy a GB30, I'd have to be the B&O. And I don't think I can ever, 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 ever buy another chassis system diesel. Um, cause everyone I've ever had, I've had a problem with whether it didn't run right or there was some sort of body fitment problem or something. There's something wrong with everyone that I've had. So I don't know if I'll ever buy another chassis system diesel, which is unfortunate cause I, I just love their little, their little paint scheme with the little cat. I think it's cool. Um, but the rest of these, not so much into and then uh, the verandas. So I've, I've heard these were going to be in the catalog for a while now. And uh, I, th I really had this idea that I wanted one. And I got to looking at them. I'm like, ah, I could probably do without those. So you got the four Union Pacifics here. Um, you got the, the flag unit. And then you got the Greyhound. And I actually think the Greyhound looks better on a veranda than a steam engine. But um, I'm I'm not buying one after I after I got to really looking at them. I'm like, ah, so I don't really need one of those. But you got the uh, the Rio Grande Southern Pacific. You got the U.S. Department of Defense, U.S. Army, whatever you want to call them. And I I probably wouldn't buy that, but Lionel, mad props. I like the way that looks, but I probably would still wouldn't buy one. But I think it looks cool. Uh, you got the Great Northern, and then of course, and actually you got the Pensies, because I think Lionel has to make Pensy everything. But um, to me, the winner is the Alaska. I, I really like the Alaska paint scheme. I have two GP38s, a power and a dummy um, with the same paint scheme, obviously. And I just like that paint scheme. I think the paint scheme is hard to beat. Um, but if I was to buy one of these naturally, I'd probably stick with the traditional Union Pacific because I have a problem buying too many different road names of people that didn't have certain engines. But um, that Alaska is making a hard case for that. Then you got switchers, and super happy there's not a B&O in here or Union Pacific, because um, they would probably, Lionel would probably get me again. The last time they did switchers, actually was my last video I made, was two NW2 Legacy switchers. I had a B&O and, and Union Pacific. I only have the Union Pacific left. I've since sold the B&O. But um, it, I'm happy there's not either of those here, because I would probably get stuck. If I was to buy one, though, out of what's offered here, you got New York Central Conrail. Seaboard Coast, Boston and Maine, Rock Island, Coors Brewing, um, Strasburg, and Southern Pacific. If I was to buy one, it would probably be the Southern Pacific. Just 
I like their paint scheme. I um, always have since I've been a little kid, since I've seen pictures of them. Uh, looks like we got number boards right there too, which is actually cool. I think it's the only one with them there. That's, that's cool. I think those are number boards. Looks right. Um, now, all you guys that are watching this video, whether you're subscribed to me or not, I need you to help me out. <clears throat> Somebody, please, I'm asking nicely, please, explain to me the hype behind this Acela. Um, I, I don't understand, I don't really get the hype. Um, so yeah, I know the lead engine and the helper engine both have dual motors. They both have sounds. They both have, they both have motorized pantographs. Um, I just, I just don't understand the hype. I know the cars are supposed to tilt or whatever, but, uh, everybody's been talking about the Acela since the last time Lionel made them and apparently they had all sorts of problems with them or whatever, but I'm just, I just don't understand the hype. I mean, if somebody has one and can like show me a video, that would be cool. I'm, I'm not buying one. I don't, I don't like high speed trains anyways, but I like old trains, but I'm just curious as why everybody's so excited about these things. Cause I don't quite understand it. Maybe it's just me being a grumpy young old person or whatever you want to call me. But anyways, they got the, uh, Amtrak, I, I guess that's their regular paint scheme. And you got the Amtrak, uh, concept. And then, uh, we'll move to the next page. Got the New Haven, uh, Milwaukee road, the Milwaukee road paint scheme does look kind of cool. I like that. Then you got the uh, Union Pacific. I'm pretty sure I've seen that paint scheme on some Union Pacific, probably like an M1000 or something like that from way back in the day. But good lord, it's ugly. That is horrible. Then you got the Pensy. Probably should have painted all the cars the same color as engines. Would have helped it out. And then actually, got to do an orb on it. Um, I think there's a Polar Express one too. So I'm sure I'm looking forward to seeing videos of these when these come out because I'm really trying to understand the hype i'm really trying to get it but uh for you guys that are into the acela awesome i hope you guys really enjoy it um i think the the main engine or main set retails for 24 and so the pre orders for like 19 something 1975 1995 something like that <laughs> and then you got the uh the expansion set for a grand yeah so i'm kind of out on that but uh this little work train set i'm into this work train set I'm going to be honest, I would never buy it because I promise you it would set in the siding and never move until I died and somebody tore my layout down. Um, but I think this is a, at the price they're offering this, you get the engine, you get the uh, TMCC ballast tamper, and then you get the kitchen car with the sounds. And then uh, with the add-on pack over here for 680, you get the uh, working speeder and you get, uh, did none of these have sounds? No, these don't have sounds. But uh, I think it's cool. I think it's a cool little set. If you get both of them, I think you're getting a lot of you're getting a lot of cool stuff for your money in that set. I think I think Lionel's not winning in that deal, but that's, that's cool. But like I said, if I bought it, it would just set in a siding till I died. So there's no sense in wasting money on it. But I think it's really awesome. Then you got these two sets. Um, yeah. Uh, not into either one of them. If I was, it would be this bottom one because I think the price point on this steam engine is just a bit out of control but uh i don't know anything about these trains actually so they're cool if you guys buy them i hope you all enjoy them i'm sure they're gonna be great sets it's just not for me uh same thing with this 1926 cardinal set it's just not my deal and the santa fe valley flyer set definitely not my deal but uh, i'm sure if you guys buy them i'm, I'm they're, gonna, they're probably gonna be great sets it's just just not my deal man now these things, these John Bull sets, these are cool. I'm not buying one because I promise you if I bought it, I'd run it like maybe two times and it'd sit on a shelf till forever. But uh, I'm really looking forward to anybody that buys these and makes a YouTube video because I would like to see these because I think they're I think they're really cool. I think it's cool that uh, Lionel's making them. So if you guys buy them, make sure you put a YouTube video out or put a video somewhere. I'll, I'll track it down. You got the Rio Grande Ski Train. I have no Rio Grande anything. But uh, once again, they're uh, smacking me with that uh, that price right there. So I'm going to pass on those. Um, the Vision Box Cars. I have Vision Cars. I don't run the sound, so I'm not buying these. But if I did, it would be the B&O. And then I like the Missouri Pacific. I don't know why. I've always liked these box cars. I, think it's a, I don't know why I like them. I have an MTH one for no reason other than I like that. 
Um, the 65 foot mill gondolas. I like Bethlehem. And I like, I think this Conrail car looks cool, but they don't really fit my area that I'm trying to collect or model or whatever you want to word it. Then we got the beer cars. Um, once again, they don't fit my deal, but now that line, I was starting to put graffiti on cars. I think it's awesome. Um, if I was in a buying those cars, I think it would be even cooler if Lionel would put different graffiti on each car, like uh, like have some sort of thing just picks random graffiti. But I'm sure that's much harder than I make it sound. But th those are cool. Then you got the uh, tool cars. I'm not buying. I just don't have a need for them. Same thing with the kitchen cars and the bunk cars. I think the bunk cars. I've always thought they look like prison cars, like to transport prisoners. So. Don't mind me and my, my silliness, but I still think that's when I look at them, but they're not my deal. I'm sure some people really like this kind of stuff. It's just not for me. You got standard O double door box cars. I like this uh, CP and LT. No idea what CP and LT means, but it's a cool looking car. Um, and then just because I'm on YouTube and I know somebody's going to get mad, I'm going to say it. I like the Detroit and Mackinac car. Yes, I'm aware it's Detroit and Mackinac, but clearly they're... Maybe I'm the only one that only sees a C at the end of that. Nah, whatever. But I like the Detroit and Mackinac car. Um, I have a, another one. I have a Detroit and Mackinac car, but that's a cool car. I like that. Um, the gondolas are like standard, normal gondolas. Nothing spectacular. These little speeders. Man, if you guys have one, please hit me in the comments. Let me know what you do with them because I feel that if I was to buy the B&O speeder, I'd basically be throwing Lionel money to get something that sits on a shelf after I run it for like one day. Because I don't think I'd ever run it ever again. But if you guys do something with them other than that, let me know what you do with them. Because I'm curious. Because I think they're cool, but I'm just going to... I'll, I'll just keep my money. Otherwise, Lionel's just going to take it. Um, and the little tampers are cool. I won't buy one. But I think they're pretty, pretty neat little things that they made. And that will be it for this catalog review. Wasn't much of a review. More of a me going through talking about stuff I liked and didn't like. Um, but what I have on order, I have three b and I-12 cabooses from, I don't know what catalog, we'll call it second catalog of 2019. They're late. Should have been here last month. But anyways, I got those three uh, cabooses coming and I just broke down and finally ordered my very first MTH steam engine. I ordered the Restoration Big Boy. Um, I've been seeing everybody with these shiny big boys, and I was like, I gotta have a shiny big boy too, so, well, I guess I just joined everybody else. Um, I got in on that last run that Mike Wolf is doing for MTH before he retires. So that's supposed to be here in August or September or whatever, and I got a few things I gotta get straightened out, but I may end up pulling off that uh, pacemaker mohawk with the freight set because I, I really want that. And I was kind of, kind of, kind of bothering me that MTH you know, just broke out of this big boy or whatever, but, so now I'm like, oh, I was gonna get the pacemaker, but, you know, so we're gonna try and get both, and, uh, <clears throat> that'll do it for this time, guys, um, make sure you guys go and subscribe, and click the little bell, because I will be doing videos more often than two years, and, uh, like the video, feel free to leave me a comment, and go to my uh, Facebook page, Joker's Trains, I got some pictures there, I got some pictures of the last engine that I bought that I'm not gonna put on YouTube, so uh, I look forward to talking to you guys in the, in the next video. Until then, see you.